Hi, welcome to 2020 Tasty Treats with Gourmet Quarter. I'm Susan Clare, Gourmet Quarter, and we're having a whole lot of fun in 2020 with all sorts of things. This time we're doing a series of appliques. We're doing a whole series of 20 different dogs. Now, these dogs come out of my imagination. They have a resemblance to our little four-legged friends in a variety of shapes and sizes and even color. However, they are kind of creative dogs. So we've been quite busy up here. You can see that we've already got quite a family of dogs going on. We've done seven. So we're actually up to applique number eight this time of our dog series. There's a pattern available on gourmetquarter.com if you're interested. It's a downloadable pattern. It comes every day with a new dog for 20 days. So this is day eight. And there's a video each time to show you how I'm going about uh, putting it together and doing the stitching. So we're doing fused applique and I've already cut all my shapes out here. I've been using a light box to help me trace through any markings when I've traced it so that I can see where they are to stitch them. So I've just used a pencil for most of it. Um, but for the eyes I have been using a permanent marking pen. I've got a little black pen and then I've just got a white gel pen. And sometimes you've got to go over it a couple of times to make it stand out nicely, but that's okay. So I've started positioning I've got the body on, I've marked where I'm going to stitch to indicate the hind legs in behind there. He's um, fairly substantial, this little fella, so you probably don't want to tangle with him too much. Now, I'm just going to pop his head on. In. So in the pattern, the, paint, the pieces are numbered, so if they're a lower number, the chances are they underlap a higher number piece. And then there's a picture of the finished shape there. So we can pop him on like this. We could have his face on a slight angle, um, that could be slightly interesting. We might even do that, I think that's quite cute. So as long as we get it in the right place, just about there I think, and seeing as he's looking that way anyway. And that's the beauty of applique, you can move them around. The dogs are quite cooperative at times, other times less so I have to say. I don't own a dog. I don't know a huge amount about them, although I, I have owned dogs in the past. Um, so I've traced his nose to do the applique because it was quite large. I've marked his little mouth and he's got a couple of sort of wrinkles across his nose. So I've marked all that ready for stitching. And that can go on there like that. And I think he's got a little bit of character going on in him, this one. So I'm going to iron all that in place and because I'm free motion stitching I'm popping a stabiliser behind, I've got just some cotton batting for that. I've set the machine up for free motion stitching, I've dropped the feed teeth, I've got an open toed uh, free motion foot on and I've got a dark grey thread in the machine which will help outline some of these shapes. So I think I'm going to start coming around this his head. So I'm going to start near uh, where the body joins in because I'm thinking we can probably go all around the head and ears and then come on to the body as well. So we'll just if we start nearby we can do that. We will have to come back and do his nose and mouth later. The darker thread helps emphasise the shape, so it helps show where they overlap a little bit too. Now these ears, I'm going to go up past the ear, and then come back onto the ear and come around it. And there's a little bit of a fold in his ear there, so I'll just take that into account. They don't take a huge amount of time, they're kind of fun, it's kind of relaxing, enjoyable. And if I snip that thread, so I'll be able to just keep going onto the body. 
because we started just near there so I can just come on to here now and come around so it's just the same thing so I'll keep going I've just got to do this stitching line that indicates it's got some hind legs behind there and then we'll come back and we'll do the face before I finish so I've gone ahead and finished around the body and the legs and I've actually done a couple of little wrinkles on his nose but I haven't done his mouth and nose yet so we'll go around and do those so I'm just going to come down here and do this little curved mouth bits and then if I come back up to the nose, we can go straight onto the nose. So by stitching those little lines double, it just helps emphasize them a little bit. And I did that on the little wrinkles as well. And finish him off. I think he's all done. So I'll give him a quick press. Oh, I think he's looking quite fun. And we'll put him up here. He's the start of the new row of their dogs. So he can go over here. In their little dog gallery, definitely gathering a little bit of a clan there. So that was dog applique number eight. And I will see you again with applique number nine.